tomatoes, corn, got some onions in here, a couple of watermelon plants, more tomatoes, some pepper, baby watermelon. <laughs> Neighbor's house beyond the fence. There's some more squash. Uh, there's a potato plant there. Tomatoes. More tomatoes. I'm going to put a big park bench over here. I just purchased it and I'm waiting for it to come via Amazon. And over the fence is the corral. No animals in it. But it's got blackberries and strawberries or blueberries, raspberries. Tomatoes potato plant then squash we're we getting big now some more tomatoes and other plants watermelon and peppers a of corn Another tomato plant. And a couple of radishes and I think cauliflower. It's a cool weather plant so I put in the shade over here. Granddaughter's toys. Peach tree, the peach tree. Corral with the blackberries, blueberries, raspberries in it. Did some cleanup. <laughs> it was really overgrown. And the garden shed. Looking south. Going towards the southwest here. And the west. And this is my hydroponic celery. These ones have algae grown them because I um I didn't black them out. I supposed to be like little fish things, fish bowl things, but I just got the plants in there. And they're actually my two healthiest celery plants, so the other two are blacked out. This one I thought was gonna die yesterday, but it's starting to perk up again. That, it goes through water, a lot of water. I have to refill them up every couple of days. And the rest of the pot garden inside, uh, Arabica coffee plant I bought for my mom. And big pot. Got a couple of limes. Some broccoli and some mama tomatoes and maybe go outside. Now the, the carrots I'm afraid to put outside because it's getting warm. So I come in here every day, I think they're going to be dead. <laughs> if I bought these screen things from Amazon. They work pretty well. It's attached by Velcro tape and they got little magnets that bring them apart. Like that. 